so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi! Hi, and I'm Mika! And look at what's behind us! <gasps> A fire truck! Today we're at High Tech Emergency Vehicle Service in Oakdale, California! Yep, and here they build fire trucks for cities all over the country! Yeah! Wait a second! Mika, I wonder if they'll let us help them build a fire truck Ooh, today! That would be so cool! Let's go! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Cool. Yeah! Check out this fire truck! Oh, it's so new and big! Yeah, well this is a Type 1 fire truck. One of the most common fire trucks there is! Wow, I wonder where they use this at. Oh, they use it in cities, in towns, to put out fires. It's also used in medical emergencies. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, oh. Mika, check it out. Another one. Yeah. This one is a lot smaller. This is a Type 6 fire truck. Oh, and look how big that wheel is. Yeah, exactly. This fire truck is used out in the wilderness. Not oh. every fire happens in the city. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this, Mika. Oh, there's a lot of space there. It's really high up. Yeah, if they had to go over a log or a tall rock, so then it doesn't hit the body. Yeah, the chassis of the fire truck. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of fire trucks. Yeah, and a big bumper. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, this one's really tall. Oh, it kind of looks like a mix between the last two. Yeah, this is a Type 3 fire truck. Wow, it looks pretty tall, uh -huh. but then it has the same kind of body. Yeah, you can use this truck for in big cities. Oh, and out in the wilderness. <laughs> cool. <laughs> whoa, this is so much fun. Yeah, whoa, Blippi, look. Whoa. Whoa, this looks like the Type 1 fire truck. Yeah, and it's tilted over because they must be working on it. Oh, yeah, and do you see? There's not even the body attached to this fire truck. Yeah, come look. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Look right here. Yeah, there's a lot of tubes and a big engine. Yeah. Ooh, I see the hydraulic fluid. Ooh, some oil. Ooh, a bunch of cylinders. Yeah. This looks very powerful. It's so cool that we get to see the inside of this truck. Yeah. Hey, what if we can go see how they build these fire trucks? Yeah, let's go check it out. Come on. <laughs> Hey, what's your name? I'm Brian Ruthman. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. So what do you do here? I'm the plant supervisor. Oh, cool. But what's this machine? Uh, this is a laser. It focuses beams of light through mirrors, and we use it to cut through the metal. Whoa, that's awesome. So it makes parts of a fire truck? Yeah, it makes the complete body and everything on the fire truck. Whoa! So the side of the fire truck, yeah, the metal parts, this machine cuts them out. Whoa! Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. What are you working on right now? Uh, we knew you were coming, so we decided to uh, drop a Mika and a Blippi uh, logo. So we're going to be cutting that out on the laser today. Whoa! Cool! Yeah! So can we watch it be made? Yeah. Yep, we just got to put our safety glasses on. Oh, cool. Yeah, first things idea. first. Safety, safety first. <laughs> Whoa, how do I look? Oh, very nice. Oh, you too. Safe oh. and protected. Cool. <laughs> oh, can I press the start button? Yeah, it's right over here. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, Whoa, check it out, cool. Blippi. Oh, yeah, my name, <laughs> Blippi. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> oh, and look, there's my name. Will you spell my name with us? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Oh, check it out, so many buttons and knobs. And yeah. <gasps> the start button. <laughs> Will you count down with us? Cool. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> oh, look, my glasses! 
glasses right here. Yep. Ooh, and my bow tie. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Look at mine. You can see the bow like I have in my hair. Oh. And oh look, there's my jam pack. <laughs> cool. Wow, that was so much fun. I didn't learn the names with that laser machine. Yeah, really cool. Oh. Oh. Hey. hey. Well, what do you think? Do they look good? Yeah, they look really good. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us how to do that. Yeah, that was really fun. After this machine cuts pieces out of this metal, then what's the next step? Uh, the next step is uh, we take the pieces over to the body tables and then we go over there and we start welding all the pieces together to form the fire truck Whoa. body. Oh, wow, cool. Could you show us? Yeah, follow me. Oh, all right. Okay, let's go. Whoa, I know what this is. This is welding, right? Yep. Oh, welding? <laughs> I've never welded before. What is it? Ooh, I think I know what it is. Can I answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's when you fuse two pieces of metal together with electricity, gas, and heat. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. Oh, Whoa. wow, that sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah, what's this that uh, they're welding? This is the front of a fire truck body. Whoa. Oh. So Ooh. much work goes into building a fire truck. <laughs> yeah, and wait a second, what are those? Uh, these are your protective gloves and your protective helmet from the arc from the welder to protect your eyes and your oh, vision. Oh, looks like a cool helmet. Yeah. Why do you need to protect your eyes? Because uh, the arc's really, really bright and it'll damage your eyes. Oh. So. <laughs> wow. Well, if someone's going to be welding, do we get those really cool looking helmets? Yep. We have a helmet for each of oh, you here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, cool. Hey, Mega. look. Flippy, that's your name. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, wait a second. In your name on yours. So awesome. Whoa. Thank you. Ooh, maybe we should try it on. Oh, yeah. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> Whoa. Hello? 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 Where'd you go? Huh? Oh. Hello? Oh. It's still dark. Oh. <laughs> wait, where are you? Oh, it's so dark in there. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's so dark. Oh. Why do you wear the gloves? Uh, to protect you from the heat and the spark during the welding process. Whoa. Oh. Smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good to be safe. Yep. Yeah. And are you going to be the welder today? Um, we have Matthew here, and he's going to teach you how to uh, weld the body. Oh, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be seeing you after this welding fun. Yep, I'll <laughs> catch you later at the paint shop. All, all right, right, see, see ya. ya. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Matthew. How long have you worked here for? Uh, three years now. Wow, oh, cool. We're excited to see you weld. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Let's get started then. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Ooh. Putting on his gloves. Oh. Oh, and is that your really cool looking helmet? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, so how do you actually <laughs> weld? You'll bring it up to your material uh -huh. or your metal. You'll start strike the arc and drag, we call it the puddle down of material. Oh. Okay. All right. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're excited. Alrighty. Put these down now? Yes, sir. Oh, All right. It is time. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Is it safe to pull up our helmets? Whoop. Yes, it is. Oh. Whoa. I can definitely see why you need a helmet. Yeah, that was really, really bright. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you mind if I try? Of course you can. Whoa, oh. cool, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Here is a jacket for you to protect you from the sparks. Oh, oh. cool. Yeah, safety jacket. Nice. Yeah, how do I look? Oh, nice. It fits well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I should probably button this up, right? All right, yep. so you have your jacket, your helmet, and what else does Blippi need? Gloves. <laughs> okay, let's go like this. Here's one glove <laughs> and my second glove. Whoa. Two gloves. All right. Okay. Well, I'm ready. Good luck, Blippi. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. Whoa. I think I did a pretty good job. Whoa, Blippi, that was awesome. Whoa. Use those pieces of metal together. How was it? It was really exhilarating. <laughs> wow, that was really cool to watch. Yeah. 
Wow, well, that was really fun learning about welding. Yeah, thanks for showing us. Yeah. No problem. Well, should we go to the paint shop? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on over there. there. We'll give you those. Thank you so much. All right. Should we take our signs? Yeah. So okay. Then we can paint them. Awesome. <laughs> thanks, Matthew. Yeah, thank you. Here you go. Okay. All right, see you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs> We're wearing our paint suits. Why is this paint so big? That's so we can fit a fire truck in it. It's 80 feet long. Wow, you can paint an entire fire truck in here? Yep. Wow, wow. cool. Whoa. Hey, Mika, look at our names. Oh, yeah, our signs are hanging up. They're ready to be painted. Whoa. Can we paint those today? Yep, we've got paint uh, sprayers for you, and we've got your colors mixed up, <gasps> ready to go. Oh, I hope that you got purple. And either blue or orange for me? We have purple and orange. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> awesome! Oh, Shall we get started? Sure, I'll go get your uh, paint sprayers. All right. Okay. Get suited up and we'll be ready to go. All Perfect. right. Hey. Glasses like this. Yep, and right. And the worst one I'm so ready. It's so cool. Yeah. I can barely hear you, Nika. What? Wow. They're nice and dry now. Yeah, oh, nice purple, Mika. Oh, thank you, and nice orange, Blippi. Oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> hey. Hey. Wow, how do they look? They look perfect. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thanks for teaching us how to paint these. Yeah, and thank you so much for teaching us how fire trucks are built. Yeah, it was such a fun day. Yeah, I got a surprise waiting for you guys outside. <gasps> wow. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. Exciting, thank you. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Station. We're always ready to go. We're always ready for any mission. No time to take it slow. So get in the truck and we will drive right there. The team is on its way. And now we're shooting water at the flames. And we will save the day. Big fire truck. Yeah, it's so awesome. 
welcome here at High Tech Emergency Vehicle Service. In Oakdale, <laughs> California. Yeah, we got to see so many different kinds of fire trucks. Oh yeah, like the ones that fight fires in the city. Yeah, and ones that put out forest fires. Whoa, and it was really cool being able to see that laser machine. Yeah, look at these really neat signs. <laughs> yeah. And you got to try welding. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. And you did a very great job with your painting. Well, thanks, Flippy. You did a great job, too. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Well, if you had fun and want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. <laughs> nice. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye! Wait, did you hear that? Sounds like a fire call! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, look at, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles. Yummy. Whoa, Mika. Be nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so, what's Mom and Pop Shop? So, we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. Please. Oh no! I'm so sorry. We just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables, and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow, wow. 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We can <laughs> feed some horses? That's so fun. Let's do it. All right, yeah. see you see later. You to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At these beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you Ooh, too, there Flippy. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Wow. Whoa. Do you like carrots? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> oh, wow. They even have alpacas! Hey! Oh, they're Whoa. so cute! Whoa. Oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? 
<laughs> Whoa! Wow, they're such healthy eaters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the <laughs> next bite. <laughs> Yummy? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah. <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh, yeah. Fruits and vegetables. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Flippy, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. <laughs> See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. <sighs> and it smells so good. Well, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree! Cool, come on! Whoa, look at these lemons! Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then uh, let's see, how about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second. Here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. Whoa, look at this garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach, and it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that, but popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf. And then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and 
They're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. Hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. Hmm. Oh, look! One of my favorite fruits of all time! Strawberries! See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah! Here we go! A nice, delicious red strawberry! Strawberries are a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, I should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, and tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do, I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum, can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome, and some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes, so yummy. <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana? But wait a second, it's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you wanna do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there, just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's nice apple. And then I'm gonna add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not gonna blend properly. Okay. All right, and what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum. <laughs> All right. all right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually going to be green. <laughs> all right. And it's going to be pretty loud. So are you ready? All right. I'm all right. ready. Three, two, one. Whoa. Is it done? It's done. Wow. It does look green. All right. You're going to love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. <laughs> Smells so sweet. Yep. All right, okay. so now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow, check it out. Oh, yummy. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at-home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at-home. Oh, cool, at-home pops, here we go. Hey, do you wanna count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, that's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? Sure. All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. that sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm 
Perfect. Look at these. So excited to have such nutritious pops. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. <laughs> yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And the great go. part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Rika. Welcome Hi. to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So, Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep, that's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're gonna make? Beets me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're gonna look amazing. So, beets are very interesting ingredients. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well, so. We're just gonna turn it on. And you could throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool. And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa. Smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And we can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa! This is gonna be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Lippy's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right. Might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay, now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we try to. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Blippi! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. 
Yum! Good mm. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah! At Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! -I Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Lippie. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Silicon Beach Pediatric Dental in Culver City, California. <laughs> This is the dentist's office, and today I'm going in for my checkup. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I'm so excited to get my teeth clean. <laughs> yeah! Here at the dentist, the dentist makes sure your teeth and your gums and your whole mouth stay super healthy and clean. <laughs> well, I brush my teeth and I floss two times a day. But it's good to go to the dentist for a checkup and a cleaning <laughs> to keep your teeth extra clean and extra healthy. <laughs> hi, Blippi. I'm Dr. Ray. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Are you ready for the tooth party? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. You said tooth party? Tooth party. I love parties. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. I'm ready for the tooth party. Whoa. And who's this? This is Danny the dinosaur. Oh, hello, Danny. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like Danny has some teeth. Hmm. Is Danny gonna get his teeth clean today? We're gonna use Danny to teach you how to brush your teeth. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Hmm. So if you look, Danny has teeth just like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. And we have this toothbrush so we can learn how to brush our teeth. Whoa, look, that's a really big toothbrush. <laughs> well, probably because Danny has some really big teeth. <laughs> and when you brush your teeth, you have teeth on the top and teeth on the bottom. You have teeth on the left and teeth on the right. And when you brush, you have to make sure you brush the outside and the inside. So let's do a little brushing with Danny. Okay. I like to count to 10 when I brush teeth. So in the front, we'll count to 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Whoa. And are you done? No, because you've got to brush the back ones too. The back teeth are called molars. So Whoa. let's brush our molars. Whoa. So in the back, you got to brush the outside and the inside. You got to brush the top ones and the bottom ones. And don't forget about the right side. Whoa. We're going to brush those too. And Dr. Ray, you said the back teeth, those are called molars? Back teeth are called molars. Oh, and what are the front teeth called? The teeth in the front are called incisors. Incisors. Ooh, <laughs> try saying that with me. Incisor. Whoa, <laughs> good job. Wow. So after you've brushed, you still have one more thing to do that's really important. And that's flossing. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget to floss because the sugar bugs like to hide in between your teeth. Oh, the sugar bugs. <laughs> you want to make sure you floss those out. <laughs> so when you take your floss, you go in between the teeth very carefully, very gentle, mm -hmm. and you clean all the food from in between your teeth. So oh. don't forget to floss. Oh, and does that help keep your gums healthy? It keeps your gums healthy, it keeps your teeth healthy, and it keeps you from getting any cavities. Whoa, that's great. Yeah, you don't want cavities, so you want to remember to brush and floss. <laughs> Oh. And part of going to the dentist today, Blippi, is we're going to count your teeth. So we're going to use Danny, and he's going to show us what I see as the dentist. So you can see too. Ooh. So we're going to count Danny's teeth on the top. Let's do it together. Okay. This is the dentist's mirror, and we're going to count here. Count with me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten! <laughs> yeah, whoa, good job. <laughs> so Danny <Whoa. laughs> has ten teeth on top. Whoa, that's a lot of teeth. <laughs> whoa, that's so cool. And now Danny has a really nice smile. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Now that I'm sitting down, I'm ready to get my teeth cleaned. 
So Blippi, we're gonna brush your teeth, but first I'm gonna show you everything we're gonna do before we do it. Oh, that's great, thank you. This is the thirsty straw, this drinks the water. Ooh, But yeah. when you turn it on, it makes a little air noise. So it's not scary, it's oh. just a little air. You wanna touch it? Yeah, you hear that? Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then to rinse your teeth, we have the water squirter. This is the water squirter and it Ooh. squirts a little water. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and then for brushing teeth, we have the Profi motor. This is like an electric toothbrush. And if you whoa. feel it, it's really soft. Oh, yeah, it's so squishy. And you said this is called a Profi motor? A Profi motor. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah. Just like a toothbrush. <laughs> and when you turn it on, it makes a little motor noise and it tickles your finger. <laughs> so feel it, it's soft. Whoa, <laughs> it's so ticklish. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> so before we start, you get to pick what flavor toothpaste you want. Ooh, we get to pick the flavor. Hmm, but what flavor should we pick? It looks like watermelon, candy, chocolate, hmm, cake or cupcakes, <laughs> grape, and mint. Hmm. I think I'll go with mint. Hmm. <laughs> so now we're gonna lean the chair back. It's just like going on a spaceship, and we're gonna Ooh. count your teeth, and then we're gonna brush your teeth. <laughs> Whoa! Feel like I'm getting ready for takeoff. Three, two, one! Teeth brushing takeoff! <laughs> Whoa. So this is my mirror, and we're gonna use it to count your teeth just like we did Danny's. Oh, okay. Do you wanna start on the top or the bottom? Hmm. Let's do the bottom teeth. Let's count the bottom. Open big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks great, Blippi. Whoa, fourteen teeth on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Now let's count the top. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen on the top. Great Whoa. job, Blippi. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. Fourteen on the bottom and fourteen on the top. Hmm, that means twenty-eight teeth? Twenty-eight teeth. Actually, Blippi, if you include the wisdom teeth, you have thirty-two. That's Whoa. great. That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> So this is the electric toothbrush, and now we're gonna brush your teeth. Ooh, this is gonna be fun and really minty. <laughs> and here's your toothpaste. Oh. And we're gonna brush your teeth. Oh, check it out. Yeah, the toothpaste comes in a little cup right there. Whoa. So the electric toothbrush scoops up the toothpaste, and then we can brush your teeth. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> Blippi, remember, part of taking care of your teeth and avoiding cavities is eating healthy. So you always want to eat lots of healthy things like fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Don't eat a lot of sticky things because the sugar bugs like that. And remember, when you're thirsty, always drink lots of water. Great job, Blippi. How do your teeth feel? Whoa, they feel so clean. Eee! <laughs> okay, that's it for the cleaning. Your teeth look great. Oh, well, thank you for cleaning my teeth, yeah. And they also feel clean. They feel great. <laughs> so no cavities today. You have 28 teeth, and they look beautiful. Oh, thanks, yeah. It's good that I don't have cavities. But what is a cavity? A cavity is a hole in your teeth, and that are caused by sugar bugs. Sugar bugs in my teeth? <laughs> we all have little bacteria that live in our mouths, and some of them are called sugar bugs. Ooh. And sugar bugs like to make a hole in your teeth. Oh. So that's why you brush every day. You don't just brush the food off your teeth, but you clean all the sugar bugs too. Whoa, that's really important to brush and floss all those sugar bugs away. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> there are so many colorful toys here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Dr. Ray, do I get to pick one of these? Lippy, you did a great job today, so you get to pick a toy. Whoa. <laughs> we have balls, ice cream cones, airplanes, and a bunch of other great things. What do you want to get? Hmm, I don't know. Well, look, <laughs> these sure are colorful. Whoa, and look, a really squishy soccer ball. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Whoa, and look at this. Whoa, oh, look, it's a toy snake. Whoa, <laughs> look at him go. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, mm, he's pretty cool. Mm. Ooh, I think I'm gonna choose the blue ice cream cone. And I have one more special thing for you, Blippi, so you can take care of your teeth at home. I have a toothbrush and some toothpaste and some floss for you, so you can do it every day. Whoa, no way. My very own toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and look, it's also the color blue. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much for cleaning my teeth and for making sure they were nice and healthy. <laughs> thank you, Blippi. You were so brave. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't have any cavities. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. See you in six months, Blippi. Ooh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have to come back in six months for another checkup. Whoa, that was awesome. Nobody wants a toothache. So wet your toothbrush and get your toothpaste. Put on a dab about the size of a pea. Now get your toothbrush ready and follow me. Let's pretend to brush our teeth for two minutes. <laughs> make sure you brush your teeth really well. Let's make some circles, 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 circles. Circles on all sides of your teeth Circles on this side, circles on that Circles on the top where you chew on snacks Gotta get rid of all that black There are germs living in your mouth Gotta get them out! And that's why we brush our teeth Come on, brush those Go on, scrub them clean. Come on, make those pearly white shine. Okay, we're halfway there. Keep pretending to brush. Let's make some more circles, 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 circles. Circles on all sides of your teeth. Brushing makes your breath smell super nice. Gotta make your smile as white as rice. Oh. I love brushing my teeth. Oh, don't forget to brush your gums. And don't forget your tongue. Bah! Now we are almost done. Let's brush front, back, side to side. Front, back, and side to side. Everybody, front, back, side to side. Front, back, and side to side. Come on, brush those teeth. the floss too. <laughs> hey! I had so much fun at the dentist today. <laughs> yeah, we learned so many things about teeth. <laughs> and I even got my teeth cleaned and looked at by the dentist. <laughs> oh, and Dr. Ray, he was so nice and friendly. <laughs> Whoa, and look, I even got some things to take home. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey! You spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. E L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Don't forget to brush and floss every single day. <laughs> see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today I'm here at the Postal Museum in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because they have play areas, postal games, and even a mail train! Woohoo! 
Let's go see what it's like to be a postal worker. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! We're here in the Postal Play Place. <laughs> Whoa, this looks so fun! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you see what it is? The post office. Hmm. We should go inside and see if we can help send out some mail. <laughs> Ooh. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of packages here and a lot of letters! Well, we want to make sure all the packages can be sent out, but we need to make sure they're weighed to see how heavy they are first. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> this one looks good to me! <laughs> no way! Check it out! These packages are animals! Whoa! Look! This package is a giraffe! <laughs> it has a really long neck. <laughs> well, this is a fun package to send. <laughs> and <gasps> no way! Do you know what kind of package this is? It's an elephant! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool too. <laughs> a teacup? <laughs> well, that's pretty yummy. Hmm, would you like some tea too? <laughs> Blippi tea party! Woo! <laughs> well, just kidding. It's just a package shaped like a teacup. <laughs> well, I think we can find a place to deliver this letter. Yeah. Hmm. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> it looks like we're here in London. Well, little London. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of things in the city, like a house plant. <laughs> Whoa! And a comfy couch. Ooh, <laughs> look! Oh, it's a red and yellow delivery truck! <laughs> oh, looks like the car wants to go to sleep. <laughs> it's so sleepy! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! A horse-drawn carriage! Yeah, it has one, two little horses! <laughs> <laughs> Traffic jam! <laughs> well, let's keep looking for a place to put the letter. <laughs> oh, look at this! There are all kinds of blocks! Hmm. Maybe we can build a giant British castle! <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa! We did it! Yeah, you see it? So big! <laughs> yeah, what happens if I accidentally <laughs> knocked it down? Uh oh! <laughs> and since we're here in London, can't forget the red phone booth. Ooh. Let's see how many we can find. One, two, nine! 10, 11, 12! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! We found 12. That is way too many phone booths. <laughs> but good thing we still have our letter. Hmm. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Meow, meow. <laughs> you see? It's a kitty cat. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Wonder where we'll go next. <laughs> Hello, double decker bus. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, no way! I think I see where we can send our letter out. <gasps> it's a post box! <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go! Letter away! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look! A red hat and hmm, a red post office vest. One arm and two arms! Woo! -hoo. Ready for work! <laughs> Whoa! That is a lot of mail to send! <laughs> well, good thing we're really good at delivering mail, so this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy! <laughs> okay, let's get all the mail! Here we go!
Okay, I got all the mail, but we need to pay for it, so I'll see you on the other side of the town. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is a lot of mail! <laughs> yeah, and we can ring it up right here at the register. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, we paid for the mail to get delivered so that the post office workers and the delivery men can get paid too. <laughs> well, now, we gotta deliver all of this. Here we go. Whoa, yeah, we did it. <laughs> now we just need to deliver all of these letters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. This is a lot of work, working at the post office. <laughs> but it sure is fun because I'm with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I almost forgot. We have all the packages, letters, envelopes, but they need to be sorted before we can mail them out. <laughs> oh, well, good thing the sorting office is right over there. Oh, yeah, when we go in the sorting office, we can sort the mail. <laughs> Come on. Now, let's deliver the letters. Ooh, I see some houses. Wait a minute, this house is really tiny. <laughs> That's because, look, it's a mouse house. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look, there's a yellow house, a red house, and an orange house. <laughs> yeah, they have some pretty colorful roofs. <laughs> okay, here's your mail. One, two, three letters delivered. <laughs> Whoa, but look at this. Hmm, this is a pretty interesting looking jacket. And, <gasps> whoa, it's a giant sack of letters. Huh, big bag of letters and interesting jacket. <laughs> we'll have to try it on. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> But I wonder what this is all for. Hmm. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name's Andy. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Andy. <laughs> well, we've been having a lot of fun today, but I've never seen a jacket like this before. So that's the sort of jacket a letter carrier would wear a long time ago. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I love delivering letters. <laughs> and maybe we can pretend to be a letter carrier from a really long time ago with our bag of letters <laughs> and our cool jacket. <laughs> well, do you think we could deliver some more letters? We have a challenge for you. A challenge? A postal challenge. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> We'd like you to deliver these three letters into three different post boxes around the museum. Oh, that sounds really fun. Well, we found some post boxes. I bet we can find some more. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, a real challenge. Postal challenge. <laughs> well, thanks, Andy. No problem. Good okay. luck. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I just can't wait to deliver these letters. <laughs> and I love the mail. Do you see where we are? <laughs> yeah, we're in a tunnel. Whoa. <laughs> this tunnel, there used to be trains. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> yeah, all kinds. Diesel trains, electric trains, and steam trains. Choo choo. <laughs> yeah, and this is the train depot. Yeah, that's where trains would come to get fixed up. <laughs> yeah, if they were broken or just needed a tune up, they could come here to get all fixed. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I see a train over here. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's a train! It's a red train, but it looks kind of small. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's because this train track used to have mail trains. Whoa, yeah. Mail trains were trains that helped deliver the mail, letters, and packages, too. <laughs> yeah, and this track used to go from Paddington all the way to Whitechapel in London. Ooh. <laughs> 
and it would help the letters and whatever mail needed to get delivered get delivered more easily. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> hmm. But wait a minute. Mail trains didn't have any seats for people. Yeah, that's because the mail trains were filled with mail. <laughs> but it looks like this train has chairs and seats. Whoa. Well, we need to deliver some letters. Maybe this train can help us deliver them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this right here? <laughs> it's a really big battery. So I bet this train goes really fast. <laughs> yeah, they used to be electric, but now battery power. <laughs> okay, let's get in the train. Can't wait to deliver these letters. Whoa, we're in the train. Well, it's so small in here. I can put my letters there and squeeze in right here. Whoa, this is so fun. Yeah, traveling in a train underground. Whoa. Oh, look at it, it's so old here. <laughs> I can't wait to deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, it's getting really dark. Yeah, the ceiling is so low because we're in a really tiny train. <laughs> yeah, we can imagine that we are a package or maybe a letter from a really long time ago. <laughs> this is fun being male. I think I see something up ahead. <laughs> Whoa, we made it to a platform. <laughs> Let's get out and deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun riding on the train. <laughs> and look at where we are. We're here at the mail station. This is where the mail trains get all their packages and mail. <laughs> This place is awesome. Check it out. <laughs> These are the mail train tracks. Yeah, this is the tracks that the mail trains would deliver the mail on. <laughs> They're so small. Well, that's because the mail train is really small too. <laughs> and you see this part? Yeah, the tracks cross. Yeah, they make little X shapes. <laughs> that's because the mail trains sometimes need to change directions. So it's easy for the operator to move the trains around. <laughs> no way! An actual 1920s mail conveyor belt! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, the mail station is underneath the mail sorting area. Yeah, it's kind of where they would sort all the mail and letters and things so that people would get the right letters. <laughs> yeah, it would go on this conveyor belt right here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> this is where the mail chute is. The letters would go down the chute, over the conveyor belt, onto the trolley, <laughs> and then onto the mail train. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We've been trying to deliver a letter and look at what it is. It's a post box. <laughs> yeah, now we can deliver the first letter. <laughs> oh, first letter. It says, hello from London. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Whoa. Oh, hi, Andy. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. A red and green car. Well, Andy, what's this? This is our pneumatic train game. What you do is you turn the handle, that powers the fan, and then the air pushes the car up the tube. Oh, that's amazing. So these are air powered? Yeah, these are powered by air. Whoa. Pneumatic is the word for that. Pneumatic? Whoa, that's a pretty funny looking word. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Andy, there's a red car right here and a green car right here. One for you and one for me. Do you think we can race? We can have a competition. Okay, <laughs> shall we start? Are you ready? One, two, three, race! <laughs> Whoa, Andy! 
Yay! You won! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at this. <laughs> well, it's really fun to play with some toy cars in a pneumatic tube, but I see this big picture here. It has a really big pneumatic tube. What's this? So this is a small version of a real life version they built on the banks of the River Thames in London a long time ago. Whoa. And it was designed to carry mail before the mail rail. No way. So these little cars, they weren't for people, they were just for mail? Just for mail. But this version could uh, uh, occasionally carry people. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, we just rode the mail train. <laughs> but I guess before there was a train, they used these tubes, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Well, Andy, it was so fun racing you with our pneumatic tube cars. <laughs> but I have some more letters to deliver. Well, thanks again so much. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woo, let's go deliver some mail. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in a traveling post office. Yeah, this was a train car on a big train. It's kind of like the mail rail, but it's not as small. <laughs> yeah, and you see right here, this is where a post office worker might sort all the different mail. <laughs> and look, there are letters right here. Ooh, this one has an airplane on it. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. This one has a car. Honk, honk. <laughs> hmm. And this one has a little puppy dog. <laughs> oh. Hey, I think it's a game. I think we need to sort all these letters into the right spots. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Puppy dog and puppy dog. <laughs> car and car and airplane and airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, look, do you see it? The floor is moving. <laughs> I bet it was really tricky being a traveling post office worker. Yeah, because the floor would move so fast and the train would go so fast. And it would also be kind of noisy too. <laughs> oh, well, that reminds me, we have another letter to deliver. Hmm. Well, maybe we can put it in a post box. Ooh, I see one over here. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I think we need to get off this train. It's so bumpy. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun delivering all these letters. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, tubes. <laughs> hmm, but these aren't just any tubes. These are pneumatic tubes. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, pneumatic means anything that uses air. Yeah, and a pneumatic tube used to help deliver the mail. <laughs> yeah, it used air kind of like a vacuum. At the end of the tube, a motor sucked out all the air and then the mail would shoot through the tube. <laughs> yeah, it would travel in one of these canisters. Woo, and it looks like someone wrote a letter already. <laughs> it says, hi. Ooh, I bet Andy wrote this letter. <laughs> Hey, maybe we can send it back to Andy and say, hello. <laughs> okay, let's try. Yeah, you open up the tube here, put in the canister and... Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and look, Whoa, it's gone. <laughs> hmm, that's pretty fun. It's a pretty amazing way for mail to travel. Ooh, but wait a minute, I have an idea. What if we wrote a letter to Mika and sent it through the pneumatic tube? <laughs> okay, let's try it. First, we just need a piece of paper and an envelope, a pen, ooh, and a tube. Oh, a canister for the tube. <laughs> okay, hmm, what should we write? Dear Mika, ooh, I hope you are having a great day. <laughs> I am having so much fun in London at the Postal Museum. <laughs> hmm. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Your best friend, <laughs> Bolippy. <laughs> okay, then we just need to fold this up. <laughs> and 
We'll put it in this envelope. <laughs> then we can put the envelope in the canister. Just open it up, put it in there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we can send it to Mika. Hello, Mika, here you go. <laughs> It worked! <laughs> That's gonna be a really long trip to Mika. <laughs> well, anyway, we have some more letters to deliver. Okay, <laughs> let's go see if we can find another post box. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hey, there's one right here. And good thing we have <laughs> our last letter. Yeah, letter number three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah! We did it! Woohoo! Whoa! That was awesome! I had so much fun delivering letters, playing games, and learning what it's like to be a postal worker here at the Postal Museum! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay! <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye bye <laughs>
Yeah, I wonder why some helmets are red and some are black. Oh, yeah, because they have different vehicles. <laughs> if it's the color black, then it's a fire engine. But eh, let's say it's the color red, then it would be a fire truck. <laughs> oh, and a fire truck has a ladder on it, right? Yeah, that's right. And a fire engine has a really big hose. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, let's try it on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. How does it feel? Whoa! Whoa! Is it heavy? <laughs> it's so heavy! Whoa! 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 Look! And hmm, oh, I have goggles! <laughs> yeah, you have double protection. Glasses yeah. and goggles. Whoa. Or a shield, I guess. <laughs> a shield. Whoa! Look! It also protects my hair and my eyes from any really hot, hot fire. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> super important for firefighters to protect themselves when they're fighting fire. Mm -hmm. You can also wear this jacket, Flippy. <laughs> I'm starting to look and feel like a real firefighter now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. These Check jackets are so important because they protect you and they're made out of fireproof material. Oh, fireproof? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah. It helps so that firefighters don't get too hot when they're really close to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire resistant. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a firefighter jacket too. Whoa. Oh, oh, I put my arm through the wrong hole. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> There you go. Whoa, that's good. Oh, and why, why would you wear one of these jackets? Now this you would wear if you're going to a nice event or maybe marching in a parade. Ooh, I love parades. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, firefighters are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes firefighters get a little chilly, so they just need to wear a regular jacket. Yeah. So they have jackets like this. Yeah. Whoa, and look, it has a really cool patch. Whoa. Yeah, it says, City of New York. <laughs> yeah, because that's where we are. Yep. Whoa, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. Learning all about the things that firefighters need to fight fires. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep exploring. I really want to find a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Whoa. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. It looks like this is the very first fire engine. <laughs> that's right, and look how small it is. Yeah, you see, it's so small. Yep, <laughs> and this, Whoa! Whoa! What's this? It's a big pole? Yeah! Oh, whoa! It's so big! <laughs> yeah! Oh, hey! I think it goes up there! Oh, you're right! Okay! <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Look! Oh! And I think one goes on the other side! Oh! <laughs> whoa! You got it? I think I got it! Look! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> whoa! Oh, easy! Whoa. easy. <laughs> okay! Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, these posts would go on either side. <laughs> yeah, and two people would pump it on either side to help the fire hose work. Yep, it took <laughs> some serious teamwork. Yeah. The hose would away. connect to this part right here and they would pump up and down it. Up and down it, up and down it, up and down. <laughs> yeah. And Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa. No, what is that? It's so loud because it's the first fire siren. Yeah! Whoa, it's so loud. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh. Ooh. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Fire! Woo! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the firefighters would use this to make sure that everyone knew there's a fire. You need to be careful. Yep. Ooh. Whoa, and what are these buttons oh. for? These are really sturdy, cool buckets. Yeah. Everyone in the neighborhood would have one so that they could help put out the fire. Oh, yeah. I think it was called the Bucket Brigade. That's right, the Bucket Brigade. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Put out the fire with this because back then they didn't have fire extinguishers. And sometimes it was hard to get hoses around the right spot. Yep. Ooh. Everyone would just work together. Yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, and Mika, what's that over there? Whoa, check this out. Oh. Oh, look how big this wheel is. Whoa, it's so big. It's almost as big as you. I know. Look. It's almost as big as me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, check it out. This looks like another fire engine. Hmm. Yeah. But this one doesn't have those hand cranks. No. Nope. Or the pumps. <laughs> no. Nope. No, this looks like it used steam. Yeah. Steam? Huh. Kind of worked like a kettle. Whoa. Maybe you've seen one of these before in your Ooh. kitchen. <laughs> yeah. If you want a cup of tea, you can just boil some water and steam comes out the top. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's what firefighters would use to put out the fire. Steam. Yeah. Steam can be very powerful. Yeah, okay. and very hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they would make a fire to put out a fire? What? Make a fire to put out a fire? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Ooh, and would they use this? Yes, they would use this coal. They'd burn the coal, start a fire right in here. Ooh. So imagine that this is like a giant kettle. Yeah, <laughs> had water in here, fire down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was boil, boil. <laughs> <laughs> and then the steam would help to make the hose work. Yeah. Yep. It would turn all these gears and all the parts of the machinery. <laughs> yeah. And then, make the hose work. Ooh, and look, there's a fire hose. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. This Ooh. is awesome. Ooh, I'm gonna go put up the kettle. <laughs> oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Oh, and did you know cool. that horses would pull this? Oh yeah, because back then, they didn't have vehicles that could drive like today. No, they needed horses to help. That's so, right. Yeah, they yeah. would take care of them too. <laughs> oh, look out, I think this thing's, oh! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Whoa! Hey, look Whoa. at this! There's another fire engine. See? Wow, this one's even bigger! It's Whoa. so big! Yeah, Whoa. they just keep getting bigger and bigger with time. Oh, Mika! Huh? Hmm, there's a rope here. You want to pull it? Sure, I don't see a sign saying that I can't pull it. Yeah, I Let's think see. we can do it. What? Whoa! Did you hear that? Whoa! Whoa! That's a really loud bell! Really loud! Oh, Whoa. I see it up there! Yeah, you see it? Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah! Whoa. Now we have sirens, but back then they would use a loud bell so people knew that there was a fire and that a fire engine was coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this! This fire engine doesn't look like it needed horses. Nope. It has wheels and tires, just like a modern day one. <laughs> and look, a steering wheel. Yeah. This engine actually had an engine. Whoa. Yeah, you've probably seen a steering wheel before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what's hmm. that? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. would tell people that there's a fire. Yeah, Ooh. now sirens sound like But not back then. No, they sounded a lot different. Yeah, yeah, loud noises are important to let people know that something very important is happening and to be careful and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was pretty fun <laughs> learning about all these vehicles. Hey, maybe we could see some more fire engines. Or maybe even a fire truck. Yeah, well, I hope so. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Check out this fire truck. Whoa, what kind of truck is this? Hmm, it's really big, and it looks like there are ladders on it. Yeah. Hey, this is a killer ladder truck. Yes! <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. See the big ladders? Oh, it's so <laughs> big, yeah. Why wouldn't they need ladders? So that they can climb up to the top of buildings. <laughs> yeah, and to really high places to put out the fire. Yep. That's right, and if you look behind you there, Blippi, here's an old fire extinguisher. Whoa, yeah. Fire extinguishers are definitely helpful for putting out fires, too. Yeah, <laughs> you may have one in your house, even. Yeah, or see one at school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? Here, I'll help Here you get go. it out. Whoa, it's, it's really big and heavy. Pretty heavy. <laughs> Whoa. This is so tall. Yeah. You know what it is? This is called a six foot hook. Whoa. That's just what it is. Yeah, look, it's a little hook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is really helpful for firefighters. A long time ago, yeah, because they would break a hole in maybe the ceiling, the wall, so yep. that they could put some water with the hose through the hole. Yeah, break it and then spray in the water. Yeah, it also lets the smoke rise up out of the building. Yeah, because smoke and heat rise. Sometimes right. a firefighter might need to break a window so the smoke can get out and the fire doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Here, I'll help you. Whoa. <laughs> Here you go. And Mika, what's this? Oh, so this 
is where a driver would sit to help steer the back wheels. Yeah, this part is called the tiller. <laughs> yep, there are two drivers. Two drivers? One in the back to steer the wheels, and there's one in the front with the horses. Whoa, yeah. yeah. You know that a tiller ladder truck? Yeah, it was pulled by horses. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we don't do yeah. that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no horses today. But nope. back then, they needed horses. Mm-hmm. And Engine. Wow, look at it. It's Whoa. so big and it's the color red. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look, yeah. This is where the engine is. Yep. Whoa, this is <laughs> it's so, so big. Cool. <gasps> and look, Flippy, a bell and a siren. Hey, yeah, we've seen a bunch of those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool fire engine because, yeah, it didn't use steam or manpower pumping <laughs> the hose. <laughs> no, it uses gasoline. Yeah. The hose runs on gasoline. Yeah, there'd be an engine. It yep. would make the hose work. Oh, that's <laughs> right. And if you look at the top here, Blippi, you'll see the hose. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, powerful one. It's really strong and a ton of water can come out of it. Whoa, yeah. There's a hose that a firefighter could hold, but if there was a fire really, really high up, <laughs> they could spray it with this giant sprayer. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. And what are these? Hmm. What are those? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of hard. Wait a minute. Those are nozzles. Yeah. You're so right. That goes on the end of a hose. Yeah. So you can maybe spray a wider spray of water or a really narrow spray. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to put out the fire. Yep. That's so smart. <gasps> hey, we should pretend to be real firefighters. Oh, yeah. That sounds super oh, fun. Do you hear that? Let's go put out the fire. Okay. Do the fire. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. so much about firefighters, but <laughs> we should probably return our jackets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Wow. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, and firefighters have been around for so long, keeping our neighborhoods nice and safe. Yeah, they do so many things to help. <laughs> and they use a lot of equipment and gear. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Help put out those fires. Whoa, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, firefighters, for being real life heroes and keeping everyone nice and safe. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. So let me go. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> me, Mika, and today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, this is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can, okay. so just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. 
Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Louise is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? <laughs> she looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. 
Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. <gasps> I wonder if they're best friends. <laughs> Hi. They're so cute. So we have one. Two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. I see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look. It's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube. The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> Hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh. Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww. It's a super cute name. So, Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww. It's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. 
Aww. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun! Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time, bye. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, Paint Place. <laughs> Come on. Wow. There are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist, come on. Hey, I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I want to make a skyline too, but I want to do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies, though. Okay. Why don't you go grab it from the table? Oh, all right. Thanks. See you soon. Whoa. Look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You want to count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm, oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see, look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh, purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm, yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue's pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Hmm. Throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa! There's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there. I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. 
If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown up. And, ooh, a sponge roller? That can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And, whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right. Uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling insane. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> so get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm, let me make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, hey, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Okay. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see, this will brighten it up. Cause it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, 
also I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay, it's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get... Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George. <gasps> George, where do you wanna go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine. To find my felt. <gasps> Sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush. Like this one! Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George? You have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. So details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> 
I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place. I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool. And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow. One of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oh, <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so 
much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there. There's more. blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <sighs> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. Sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you want to watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide. Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's put this over here. And my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh. I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Get to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Whoa, this is so fun. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh, good night. Oh, 
Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all-time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. Woohoo! You can do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons, and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour, and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and this is a juicer. So we're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm. Smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries. We made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. and look at what's behind me. Whoa, a blue and yellow airplane. Yeah! 
Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? Woo I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. And today you and I are gonna learn about airplanes. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow, that sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitations. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right. <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin, and look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is gonna be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out. Fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can Buckle up. Okay, first let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa, all right, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. See this airplane? It's so big! Yeah! I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah! These are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this. See the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow, this airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location. Just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me and I have another airplane for you. And it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? Check this one out. Whoa, yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, what colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah. That looks like a star. Whoa, this plane looks like it goes so fast. Whoa, whoa, 
Check it out. This engine actually goes to an aircraft. Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big. Look how big it is compared to me. And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and... Oh, geez. So the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then boom! Whoa! These tires are so big! And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa! Do you see them? tires back here. Wow, this plane must be really heavy. Yeah, that's probably why they have so many tires. Whoa, and look how big this wing is. If it was raining, I definitely would not get wet. <laughs> Whoa, check out this airplane. It looks like it goes really fast. Hey, what color of airplane is it? Yeah, you're right. It's blue with a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Good job. Whoa, look at how big that airplane is. Whoa, do you see the colors of it? Yeah, it's white, red, and gray. Let's go find some more colors. Whoa, look at this airplane. Do you see something different with it? Yeah, there's two wings over here. And there's two on the other side. Yeah, so it has two sets of wings. That's really cool. But hey, we're here to learn the color of it. <laughs> what color is this airplane? Yeah, you're right. You said green. Good job. <laughs> And look out on the wing We're gonna fly, fly, fly Till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly. with you today at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> do you like airplanes? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how high they fly in the sky. And how they're smaller planes and big airplanes. Wow. Well, this 
is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. It's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey! <laughs> I'm gonna name him Popsicle, cause I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look, a lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors, yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay. Ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. P 
peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! We're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mmm. Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great. How many scoops? Oh, five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. <laughs> wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> Awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small, those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes? Fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. 
<laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack, quack and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds flying to the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out. Here's our patient. Hello, puppy. How are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. <gasps> oh, may I check your heart too? <gasps> Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. <gasps> wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye! Hey! Look at what I just rode up in. Yeah, it's a police car. And today, we are going to learn about police cars. what it is. It's a police car. Will you come check out the parts of the police car with me? Yeah, come on. Ooh, look at this light bar up here. There's the red lights and the blue lights over there. 
And speaking of lights, whoa, look at the spotlight. Whoa, 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 it's so bright. <laughs> Ooh, and the front of the police car has this push bar. This is used to help push vehicles off to the side of the road that are broken down. And then down here, this is a speaker. Listen. You there, clear the road. <coughs> yeah, that was awesome. Ooh, and one of my favorite parts, the engine. This is where the car gets all of its power from. Woo! <gasps> and the oil. Will you check it with me? <laughs> Allergy season. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look. Yeah. The oil looks good to me. So let's put the dipstick back and let's shut the hood and let's head to the back. Look down here, the wheels and the tires. Oh, and look right here, two words. The first word is Olympia, O-L-Y-M-P-I-A. And the second word is police, P-O-L-I-C-E, Olympia police. And last but not least, the trunk. There's some cool stuff back here. Whoa, road flares. Ooh, a speed gun. And some cones, even some caution tape. I'll show you this stuff later. But for now, it's time to dance. inside the police vehicle with me? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Now we're inside the vehicle. Look at this. Look at the switch. Do you see it? I'm going to push it all the way to the right. And those are the lights. Look. Whoa. Those are so bright. <laughs> okay, I'll turn them off now. Okay, I turn those off <gasps> and look at this. See, I just turned that on. That's the spotlight. Do you see it? Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's turn that off. And what else is in here? <laughs> Whoa. The steering wheel! Whoa! <laughs> and, um, ooh! The intercom. Hello, hello! I see you, it's Blippi! <laughs> That's funny. And, oh, speaking of noise and sound, look at this. This right here, this button, listen. <laughs> yeah, that's the siren. Ooh, and the computer. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! That is so cool. It's the Blippi Police Car song. Okay. And uh, I have some more fun stuff to show you over here. Come on. Shut the door. Is the patrol bag. 
There's so many cool gadgets and goodies in here. Whoa, like binoculars. Whoa, I can see so far. Whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, put those down there. Ooh, stuffed rhino. <laughs> A camera. <laughs> um. Ooh, flashlight. Hello, hello. So you can see in the dark. Whoa. First aid kit. Ooh. And handcuffs. So cool! <laughs> I like handcuffs! Okay, let's try it on. Put it on. Oh! Now that you have handcuffs on, you can't get them off! <sighs> but luckily, whoa! I have a set of handcuff keys. Put that right there. Do a little twisty. And then I got them off! It's like magic! Okay, let's put these back. Ooh, and last but not least, every police officer has to have a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm a police officer. <laughs> Again, check out this. This is where you put the suspects. Whoa, the door doesn't even have a handle on it and the seats are plastic and really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like being back here. <laughs> and no handles are like child safety locks, but for adults. <laughs> hey, this is a speed measuring device. It uses a laser to bounce off a car and come back and it'll tell me how fast someone's going. We're out here on a street corner looking for speeders. There's one now. Whoa, he's going way too fast. Let's go get him. Officer. Sir, I need to talk to you about your speeding. Ooh, I'm sorry. What can I say? Heavy foot. <laughs> well, I'll give you a warning for today, but okay. we're just out here trying to keep everybody safe. All right, thank you. Speaking of that, Ooh. we're looking for this person. Have you happened to seen him? Oh, nope. That gentleman looks like he's wearing glasses. I sure don't. Oh, you're right. Well, let me give you this. Okay. Call us if you see him. Okay. Drive safe. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> Hello. Hey, let's look at what's inside the back of the police car a little bit better. Hmm. Ooh. Look, we have a police officer's hat. <laughs> and yeah. A safety vest. Oh, and it's bright yellow. Look at it. Wow. Okay. Nice bright yellow safety vest. <laughs> How do I look? Okay. Oh, and I got my hat on. And oh, look. Four orange road cones. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, and look, a road flare. Wow. Put that in my pocket. <laughs> and road spikes. Okay. Set those down. Let's close the trunk. Okay. First things first. Ooh, road spikes. Take a close look at these. 
Wow! Look at that! Whoa! Those are sharp! Okay, let's put this right there. Put this over here. <laughs> okay, ready? Watch this! Okay, we're gonna set up this traffic course for the police car. And the police car is gonna make sure it doesn't drive on these because these are really sharp. Take the four road cones and put one right here. Come on. And let's put the second one right there. One, two. And let's put the third one right here. One, two, three. And we got one more. Come on! Okay, how about right here? Ready? Yeah! One, two, three, four! Oh, I almost forgot my favorite part, the road flare. Whoa! Okay, this is not a toy, not for kids. So here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's put it down right here and let's start this course. Barely missed the spikes! <laughs> Good job! That was so much fun learning about police vehicles! Now it's time for the police car song! Dial 911 and the police will come driving in there.
that was really fun singing, dancing, <laughs> to the police car song with you. Hey, I have something really important to tell you. You are very special. You are an amazing child. I am so excited to see what great things you do on our planet by making it a better place and helping people out. <laughs> Last but not least, thanks for being my friend. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> well, I gotta go now, but if you wanna hang out with me some more, you know how to find me. Yeah, just search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. B-L-I. P-P-I. -I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job. <laughs> See you soon. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. Blippi.